Dear Smurfs, this situation is pretty Smurfish. Gargamel is trying to capture all the Smurfs for his dinner once again. Three of us have already vanished. Hefty will leave to release them. Let's wish him good Smurf for the way is long and Smurfy. Amazing! <clears throat> that was my, uh, best attempt at a Papa Smurf impersonation. <laughs> but anyways, hello! Greetings, salutations, everybody, and welcome to the channel of Flash with my playthrough, my brand new playthrough. Oh, wait, I can't say that anymore. This is no longer a brand new playthrough, though, is it? Last episode, well, I could say it's a brand new playthrough, but this episode... It still technically is a brand new playthrough because this is the first time I'm playing the Game Gear version of the Smurfs. Yes, in the last episode we played the NES version, but now we're gonna hop away from Nintendo and go towards Sega. <laughs> Sega. Now how fitting considering Sega is blue, their mascot is blue, and now we're playing as a blue character. <laughs> nice! But yeah, we're playing on the Sega Game Gear this time around. And, no, I don't want to go on easy. Go on hard. I want to be hard. I mean, I want to play on hard. <laughs> Stop going back on easy. How do I go back? Oh, there we go. I had to press start. <laughs> but yeah. So, in my humble opinion, I think this version is the definitive version of the 8-bit Smurfs. In my oh-so-humble flash opinion. <laughs> because I just, I just like the way this looks. If you compare it to the Sega Master System... It's just... It's, it's the exact same game, but it just looks a lot worse. I don't know why. I've always just preferred the Sega Master System. I mean, uh, the Sega Game Gear over the Sega Master System in general. Even in regards to, like, the 8-bit Sonic games. Like, I just prefer the Game Gear version over the Sega Master System. We even had a Sega... Ma Sega? <laughs> Sound like a British. Sega. But, but who even had a Sega Master System growing up? I don't know anyone who did. All I knew, people had Genesis's, people had, uh, Game Gears, a couple people had Sega, Sega, I keep saying that, Sega, Sega Saturns. But no, nobody had the Sega, Mas Sega Master System. <laughs> Unless you're some kind of contrarian who's who only, who only wants a Sega Master System because they're like, Oh, I don't want an 8-bit Nintendo console. Forget about the NES. I want an 8-bit Sega console. So I'm coming to you, Mr. Sega Master System. But yeah, anyways, yeah. The Game Gear version is, is the definitive way to play this game. I say that as I get killed. <laughs> nice. But yeah. So, in terms of differences between this version and the NES version, first of all, I think this game has better level design overall than the NES version. And it feels a lot better to uh, control. You probably can't tell this just from watching the gameplay, but the way the you control the Hefty Smurf, he feels a lot better to control. It feels like you have more better control of him than you did in the NES. Because the NES felt a lot more stiff. Like, every time you made a jump, it felt like you didn't earn that jump, I want to say. I don't know if that's the right word, didn't earn the jump. But like, I don't know, it's worse. The NES is worse in every way, don't play the NES. Play the Sega versions. <laughs> Cause Sega does what Nintendo don't. And I really do like how... This applies to like all the Sega games. Not Sega games, but all the Smurfs games, I should say. All the 8-bit Smurfs games, but... I like how you start off... Well, actually, no, I don't like it. I don't like how you start off in the forest as opposed to starting off in Smurf Village. Because, yeah, there is no Smurf Village in this game at all. Which is really weird. Maybe it's because it would have been way too taxing on the 8-bit hardware to animate all those mushroom houses. And, like, animate all those other Smurfs that you're trying to avoid. But that's just my theory. I think if they really, really tried hard enough, they could have done it. Because, come on, it's Smurf Village. That's like a definitive... Oh, yeah, you can actually kill the Black Smurfs in this game by jumping on their head. You could not do that in the NES version. So, that's another everlong bullet point list to add to this bullet point list of why the... <laughs> I don't know what I just said. To add to the reason why Game Gear is superior over Master... Er, 
Yeah, it is superior over Master System, but superior over NES. And man, I cannot get this. There we go. Okay, I didn't say this earlier, but there actually is a run button. Just like for the NES and the Super NES and the Game Boy Advance, there actually is a button to run. So every time you hold down the run button, you actually run or jump higher too. Oh, I'm running out of time. <laughs> Not that it matters. I finished it. I missed one! No, which one did I miss? I gotta get all the stars this time around because there actually is a different bonus game in this game that wasn't in the NES version, so I do want to show that off. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on? The game just started and I'm already dying. Dude, give me that. Oh, how did I miss that one up? Okay, this is not going the way I planned. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, guys. I promise. I'm good at this game. I'm a lot better at this game than I am for the NES. I swear. No more dying. Just give me this. I might actually get a game over in the second level. Oh my god. Okay, I might actually... I don't remember this being this hard. Oh, you know what? You know why it's so hard? During my practice attempts, I actually played on normal and not hard. And on normal, I'm pretty sure the screen goes... Oh, I really thought I could go above that. The screen goes by a lot faster during that level than in, uh... Than when you play on normal mode. Man, they just straight up take me all the way back to the starting sequence. The opening credits. Okay, uh, I'll meet y'all back in River Smurf. Um... Okay, this time I got all five stars. I don't know which one I didn't get last time. I thought I got them all. But anyways, here's a new bonus age. So, what you want to do for this one? I like to go all the way to the right just to collect this one-up. It's pretty much a free one-up. Then all you have to do is jump all the way down here. And then jump all the way up to the spring and get out of there. This is actually one of the easiest bonus games in this stage. This is pretty much a guaranteed one-up every time. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Back to the River Smurf! I'm not even gonna worry about the bonus stars, I'm just gonna worry about actually beating the level. Because this is... it's going by really fast. Yeah, because... Yeah, last time I, I didn't play this on hard mode last time. Or during my practice playthroughs. So, this is actually my a blind attempt at me doing it on hard mode. Oh man! See, I tried to risk it to go for the health pickup because I'm pretty sure I was going to get hit by another fish. So I didn't want to take any... Or I guess I did take a chance, but... Man. Okay, I'm actually going to be a little bit quieter for this part because I actually kind of have to concentrate. But don't worry, I won't go completely silent. I don't want to leave y'all hanging without any commentary from the channel of Flash because that's why I tuned into this game, isn't it? To indulge in my commentary a la Flash style, baby. Oh, why did I do that? I should've just kept going down. Man. This is rough, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh don't, don't go that way. Oh. I tried to squeeze underneath the fish, but above the log, but that didn't work out in my favor. <laughs> Man. Okay, I'm always gonna get hit by that fish no matter what. I'm just, I just accepted that at this point. At least I'm not running out of health. Well, not to a detrimental degree. I still have two more hits left. I'm not gonna worry about that Smurf Berry. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, I had to get hit right there. Oh my god. No, I missed the stars that letting me go back. Oh, well. No biggie. Man, they, that's a really hard star to get. Oh well, the River Smurf is over. Act 3. The bridge! And yeah, they actually put the bridge during the beginning part, the beginning levels instead of at the very end, like in the NES version. Level placement matters! I hate those birds. I wish there was some kind of indication of where they would stop and where they would turn around. Because I thought they would have kept going a lot further than they actually did. Oh man, no, let me get that star. And they're not even gonna let me get back up. That's fantastic. Oh, uh, why exactly was this game better than the NES version? 
NES. <laughs> I think I said that weird. N N NES. Whatever. I do like this game a lot better than the NES, but I can't re it reiterate that fact enough. Oh, well, I already missed a star, so I don't have to worry about getting the other stars, though, do I? Keep going up. Keep going up, bird. I want to get on the other bird. Yeah. Wait, why did they do that? I literally just said, I don't need to worry about getting... I never knew you could kill the fish! I thought I was going to take a hit. That's why I just kind of adjusted my jump because I thought I was already going to die. So I didn't even... I did not even try to... Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, at least this gives me a chance to get another star. Yeah, but in the NES version, you couldn't kill the fish. Man, this game has so many quality of life features to it, I just cannot complain. Ooh! Okay, I gotta time out my jumps nice and clean. Uh, bird? You're gonna come back to me, bird? Oh. I hate this bird! Wait, how am I supposed to- Oh, right, I have to let him fall to it. Okay, I was, I was gonna say, how am I gonna get that star if I have to get off the bird? But I don't have to get off the bird. Man, this game looks so much better than the NES version. Just look at the colors. I might put a screenshot of the Sega Master System just for comparison's sake. But man, I just love the way this game looks. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice! Okay, this is gonna be stupid. Remember the NES version where we had to do this? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ah. Man! Of course they put that pit trap at the very end of the stage. It's a beginner's trap, I say. I guess I'll be y'all at the end. I'm not gonna sit through this level again. You saw me beat the level. I don't need to show it off again. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. There we go! See? Nice and easy. Okay, please don't do what you did in the NES version and just take me to the same bonus stage over and over again. Okay, the bubbles. So this one's different. Last time we just had to keep going all the way to the right, but this, this time we want to keep going all the way to the top. Ah, shit. So we literally started from the bottom. Now we're going to the top, as so many rappers like to rap about. Um, okay, yeah, just to run out of timer. It's always, it always feels so awkward just awkwardly waiting for the timer to run out after you fall. <laughs> oh, great, the swamps. Okay, the swamps were a miserable experience back in the NES version, but this time it's a lot more bearable. Oh, I didn't say this last time too, but the level, the music that plays in this level is top tier. But you already know that because I already stated how much the level design was great! I, how did I survive? Why did I say level design? The music design. I didn't want to get off the vine. I wanted to stick on the vine. Yeah, the vines aren't much better. The vines are still pretty trashy. But hey, at least the level looks nicer. Oh no, please don't give me a game over. I kind of don't want to do this, but I might... I might, I might, might, might. This is still not a definite possibility. It's still only a maybe. But I might consider using save states in order to just not have to play through the entire first three acts over again. Get back up there. I mean, even from an audience perspective, you all see me beat the level. You've all seen me beat the level. So, I don't know why me having to literally play through all the levels again. Oh yeah, climb up here for a bonus area. I don't see why me personally off screen having to play through the whole entire levels again, even though I'm just gonna jump kinda ahead of me to this level again. You know what I mean. Nice! Yeah, so like I said, this isn't too bad. This is totally bearable. Or should I say, totally smurfable. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! I didn't mean to jump on the vine! That was an accident to get on the vine. This game really needs checkpoints. That's something I'm glad the Game Boy Advance version did. They added checkpoints in the level. Because having to start from the beginning every time is just... It's a... It's a... I say that word a lot. I always say obnoxious. I think the word I want to say this time is... Menial? It's such a menial task having to backtrack. Not even backtrack, but like start from the beginning. You get all the way to the very end of the level if you died. Just to play the whole level again. Okay, I'm not gonna bother going up inside that bonus room again because... If we're being frank, I don't need to. There's nothing in there I really need. Yeah, I have to make sure to die just like that. Perfect. Oh, isn't this fantastic? Okay, so I'm back now. I actually had to go take a bit of a break back there, but now I'm back on track. Back and ready to kick some Smurf ass. Wait, no, I am a Smurf who is kicking ass. I'm not going around kicking Smurf's asses. Smurfs are the good guys. I am the good guy. I am the channel of Flash, don't you know? Ooh, that frog is a pretty good guy for sticking his head up right there. Ooh, wee, that was close. Okay. So, yeah. What was I even saying earlier? I don't remember. It's been a very long time since I, uh, made that jump cut. If I have to be perfectly honest, it's been a couple of days since I made that jump cut. Mm, so, mm, yeah. I might be a little bit not warmed up, so to speak. But no, I should be fine. I know I'm doing this on hard mode and I've never done hard mode before! Well, I thought I would be low enough. Game over! Oh, that's what a game over looks like, ladies and gentlemen. How about a little break? Oh yeah, I've technically had this emulator running for a long time, a couple of days, so... Papa Smurf always says that if you smurf for too long, it can harm your eyes. What? What does that even mean? What? what how, how do I smurf for too long? I don't know, I don't know. What does that mean? I don't speak smurf. Smurfing for too long can mean literally anything. Okay. Um, yeah, also during that jump cut I made a save state, so I'm just gonna... Load my state. <laughs> Is this cheating? I don't care. You've all seen me, seen me play the same levels before, or the previous levels before, so I proved to y'all that I can beat it. This is 2024. We are in the day and age of emulation. Leave me alone. I don't care about the ethicalness of it. I want to get this video out in one video. Ooh, look how close that was. Look how close that was. Yeah, I want to get this whole game done within one video. I don't want to have a two-parter of a, a Smurfs on the Game Gear. Let's play! Because I know during my normal attempts, I can usually beat this game pretty quick. I mean, that being granted, I did play this game on normal. Get rid of that fucking fly. The bane of my existence. But yeah, I was playing on normal even when I beat it in my previous attempts. Or previous attempt. Singular. I only beat this game one time, but I forgot to change the difficulty to hard the first time I did my practice playthrough, so, so that's why me switching to hard mode this time around is quite the quite the jarring change of pace. But it's, I don't think it's nothing that I can't handle. If I can beat the game on normal, I can beat it on hard. Pretty, pretty easily. Oh, no, get over here! Don't walk away from me, Mr. Mosquito. Not to be confused with that one. PlayStation 2 game, Mr. Mosquito. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, the swamp level in this game is not nearly as unforgiving as uh, the NES version. This one is actually doable. Despite the way I've been playing so far, this stage is a lot more doable than the NES version, which I am very much grateful for. Oh man, I overshot it. I overjumped it. Okay, here we go again. The part where I died last time. 
So the thing, what you want to do actually, in order to get through all of this tight platforming, I recommend letting go of the run button. Because the run button can really make you overshoot your shots, but if you stop running and like actually just be patient, then you should be able to nail all that platforming. I was on top of that, how did that hit me? Okay, I have 10 seconds, I gotta hurry. I don't have time to sit here wasting time trying to kill a fly. And there we go, that's it! With all five bonus stars. Nice and simple, easy peasy. <sighs> Lemon squeezy, okay, this one's a free one up. Which is perfect here, because that's just what I needed. Oop. Oh, I didn't get that leaf. Oh well. It kind of bothers me how I missed that very easy to get leaf. Oh well. Okay, here's our first boss. We're not fighting Azrael this time. This time we're fighting a familiar foe. It's the snake who just gave me damage. And I just noticed. What happened to my health? I thought I had full health going into this game. What, after I beat the damn level, I had full hearts. I don't know what happened to the hearts. Yeah, bro, what do you want to do for this guy? You always want to wait for him. <sighs> Good thing I got that one up. Yeah, you always want to wait for him to stick out his head like that. I'm not gonna do- I'm not gonna try to jump on him right now because I couldn't get the angle right, he's too far away, and the position he's in isn't a favorable one. But yeah, just wait for him to ever get his head out. And whenever he gets his head out, you just want to jump on him. Just like that! Alright, here we go. Nice. Yeah, it's always good to, like, run to the center, but not get hit while you do it. Because normally if you're in the center, and if he comes from the left or the... Or if you're in the center and he comes from the left side of the screen, then you can always pretty much get a good shot on him. Good shot out on him. But it's really dependent on where he is. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. The good strategy for this is to actually stay at the bottom. <sighs> he better have taken a hit. I wasn't gonna get hit for nothing. Ooh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, the hardest part about this is actually determining where you land after you hit him on his head. Because if you land in a spot that's very unfavorable, then you're gonna get your smurf handed to you on a silver platter. <laughs> okay, yeah, stay on the bottom path, so it's always... Oh man, I thought I could... He wouldn't be able to hurt me if I... Ugh. Oh, he's still alive! Oh wait, no, he's, he's dead. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> He didn't have any kind of knockout animation. He just slithered away like a wuss. You have released Brainy Smurf. I like this animation. A firm handshake amongst gen gentlemen. Gentle Smurfs. It's very professional. They don't even hug each other or kiss each other or anything. Just a nice firm grasp handshake. I love it. Act 5! The South Sarsa Perilla. Fields. Yeah, once again, they spell it weird. And I already got hit. Yeah, that's weird. So, last up, when I beat the boss, I only had like one HP left. But now they're giving me three HP. So, that being said, why do they give you health pickups during the bonus stages? Like, there's no point of getting a health pickup because. Man. Yeah, no point of getting a health pickup because you start off with the same amount of health in every level, anyways. You know what, I died on purpose. It's the first stage. Since we even got a game over, we're gonna be able to start right where we left off. At our checkpoint, if this would hurry up. Hurry up, I don't want to see the logos. Man, they're really starting off at the very beginning every time you get a game over. Wait, no, why are they starting me not Act 1? Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, the thing is, they don't literally... Or, unlike the other Smurfs game, every time you get a game over during a specific checkpoint, the password would automatically be entered in for you, even after you get a game over. But no, the Game Gear version, you actually have to manually, every time you get a game over, manually enter in the... Manually enter in the password again. So, just so you can get to where you left off, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm actually gonna do this right here. 
I'm gonna make a safe state. I mean, if you really think about it, a safe state is pretty much a faster, more efficient way of entering in the password. <laughs> Ooh, man, they're, they're really relentless with the spiders in this version. They really go fast. Okay. And once again, the music here is so good. Okay, so the porcupines. I don't really have a strategy for this. I just kind of have to wing it to just see where they're going to go, where they're going to appear. Sometimes they appear... Or, like, sometimes they appear below the platform, sometimes they appear above the platform. You just really have to keep a good eye out and just have good reflexes. But fortunately, we're not gonna encounter too many of those porcupines. We're, we're only gonna see, like, a couple more throughout the level. And by a couple, I mean two. Yeah, a lot of people don't- a lot of people don't know that a couple means two. Like, they say, I'll be- I'll be here in a couple of hours. A couple is like two, like a married couple, two people. A couple hours is two hours. If you want to say more than a couple, like you want to say a few hours, a few is three or more. Or at least that's how I always determined it. Yeah, that time I, that time he appeared below the platform, I should have been above the platform. To avoid him, oh wow. Yeah, you just want to drop off just like that. The Smurfy drop off. Okay. Man, I can't believe after we do this game, I don't think I'll have any Smurf games left to play for this version. I think this version is dubbed Smurfs 94, or maybe Smurfs 93. Oh, I'm about to run out of time. Yeah, like I said earlier, there's a whole bunch of different Smurfs games out there. I've never played any of them except for Smurfs 2, or, excuse me, Smurfs Travel the World. How close was I to the exit? I must have been pretty close, right? Whatever. Yeah. The only other Smurfs game I played was Smurfs 2, and I did not like that game. I mean, that being said, I haven't played it since I was like, what, 14 or 15 years old? And for reference, I'm 28 right now, so yeah, it's been a long time since I played it. But I remember my teenage self not liking it that much. But who knows, maybe I, maybe my opinion of it could change throughout the years. Maybe I've matured in my Smurf appreciation in order for me to appreciate a good Smurfs platformer. Because I know in that game you can actually play a Smurfette. How often do you ever get to play a Smurfette? I mean, I guess not that I would, not that I would know since I haven't played any other Smurfs game. Okay, I'm just gonna take the hit. If I linger on for too long, I would have got another timeout. Like a bad kindergartner. <laughs> Ugh. Why do I bother going in here? There's no point. It's only leaves. It's not even for a bonus star or anything. And we still gotta find the other bonus game. I think so far we only found uh, the bubble game and the dam game. But there is another bonus game, actually, that I do want to show off. Jeez. Uh, ooh. Oh, golly. <laughs> oh, I almost died. <laughs> Go. Man, so many obstacles. Oh, please give me this Smurf Berry. And actually, I don't think they're officially called Smurf Berries. I think they're called, like, Raspberries in this game. But no, I don't care. I'm calling them Smurf Berries. Like, you can't have berries in a Smurf game and not call them Smurf berries. You just can't do that. That's... That's unethical. That's unsmurf... unsmurfical. Such a wasted opportunity to not have them be referred to as Smurf berries. But I, as a Smurf connoisseur, will rectify that mistake. Okay, I think the exit's really close. Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah, give me that one up, please. No! 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 Oh, so close! They put us. They put that star in the worst spot. Okay, I'm just gonna bum rush this. Okay, here we go. Full throttle ahead. I'm not gonna go in any of the secret passageways or anything. I'm just gonna speed run this. Damn it! Ooh, 
Watch out for that! Okay, this is star number two. I can't believe I got hit. I'm so disappointed. But I'm glad I didn't get hit by that part. They did not need to go this ham when making a Smurf game, or making the music for a Smurfs video game. Like, why did they have to go this hard? I'm definitely, definitely not complaining, but good god. This needs more recognition from music appreciators. But of course, since this music is from a Smurfs video game, nobody's ever gonna give it the time of day. That goes... I think that actually yeah, applies to a lot of video game music in general. I don't... People really look down on video game music. They don't really realize how hard it is to make... or to compose video game soundtracks. It really shouldn't be looked down upon. I guess it's more of a... because it's seen as a nerdy kind of thing. At least it was. I think nowadays in the current zeitgeist... Damn! It's becoming a lot more... Uh, exceptional or acceptable to be into the nerdy video game kind of stuff in terms of not being made fun of by the mainstream crowd. Okay, I gotta stop taking random hits. Honestly, I, I really should just jump cut ahead, shouldn't I? Okay, if I die this time, I'm just gonna jump cut ahead to the end. Because, yeah, once again, just like in the last... Uh, like in the swamp. No, not even the swamp, the, uh, whatever. Whatever stage I was talking about. You've seen me go from beginning to end, so I've proven that I can actually do it. Oh, golly. I need more health pickups really bad. One is not good enough. I need more. I need to fill my gauge. I thought I, I thought I was gonna get hit. Yeah, I don't like that part with the falling leaf into water. Yeah, you just really have to make sure your time is the timing of both of those things line up, which is something that's beyond your control. I thought I could duck. I thought I could run and duck and like slide, crouch under that spider, but that did not work out too well in my favor. Man, fuck this part. Because it's just so random where he's gonna go. You know what? Hold on. He's always gonna go under that platform, so I think I just have to... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Go, 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 go! Yeah, just like that. No! Okay, thanks to you for knocking me up into it. Okay, this part's stupid right here. Uh, I gotta do this for the star. I have to time it out, though. Oh shit, I'm running out of time. I am gonna get a timeout, so to speak. <laughs> forget forget it. I don't care about the star. It's too risky. Act 6, the mountains. Okay, so the mountains in this game is actually a lot different than the other than the NES version, because this time we're actually going up, 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 up the mountain instead of going side scrolly side scrolly left or right to the mountain. I do like this better. I like everything about this game better. But I actually do like how you're actually scaling up a mountain. It's really good for that sense of adventure. It's like you're really scaling Mount Everest. Man, imagine... Like, since I'm a smurf doing this and I'm a tiny little smurf climbing up this mountain, I want to imagine how much easier it would be if you were human-sized. Like, this jump right- I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to fall in there, or to go to this room. But yeah, uh, Yeah, if you're human-sized trying to climb this mountain, I feel like it could take you- Okay, it takes a smurf 60 seconds to climb this mountain. That means it would take a human to- Human, like what? 10 seconds? I know that rock is gonna fall, but it's not falling. Okay. If I get hit by this, I'm going to be pretty upset. Okay. Of course I didn't get hit. Oh, I missed it. I missed the bird. This is 
so stupid how you have to go into this separate room just to go all the way around just to get to the, just to access the higher part of the mountain. And of course the rock respawns. Okay, I should not have gone that way. I'm glad this bird doesn't automatically descend when you get on top of him. I mean he does descend, but he does he descends from his own free will. Free will, not because my fat ass smurf body is pulling him down. Ugh, damn it. Okay, I believe. I don't think there's anything down there except for these leaves, and I'm running out of time, so I'm not gonna go that way. Oh! Oh man! Ugh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so even though my time didn't reset and I entered a new area, this won't be so bad because this actually serves as a checkpoint. <laughs> right when I got into the, into the screen, I died. Time out! What are you playing a game of sports ball? Why are there any. There doesn't need to be any timeouts. Oh! Something else I should mention is that all the stars I collected in the previous area, they still remain collected even though I died. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Is there anything over here? Nope, nothing there. And I don't think I can take this with me, yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot take it with me. Oh, what? I don't understand the physics up on that rock. It fell, but it immediately turned to the other direction right when it fell. The laws of physics don't apply. It did it again! It's such a jarring, janky, 8-bit turn that it catches me off guard. Ooh, what? Where'd that bird come from? I didn't see him. He just flickered in out of nowhere. So this part right here, um, you want to be actually kind of quick about this. Want to quickly jump, like, just like that. This, yeah, it's kind of a trap. Then just go back the way we came. Yeah, it's kind of a trap, a beginner's trap. If you don't know the bridge is going to fall right there, then the stage would be mighty tough for you. But fortunately, I am not a beginner at this game. I am slightly above average. I wouldn't really call myself an intermediate. I thought I was gonna get hit! But I didn't get hit. Exit! Is it gonna give me the bonus stage you haven't played yet? Yeah, here we go! Okay, so the mushroom bonus stage in this game, it works differently than it did in the NES. This game is more like a... You know how in Super Mario Sunshine there's that pachinko machine where you just keep falling but you can can't really control where you fall or what direction you fall in, but you kind of can, but it's like really, really hard to. Yeah, this is pretty much the, that mushroom game was pretty much that pachinko game from Mario Sunshine. I keep saying from Mario Sunshine. I know pachinko is like a real thing in real life, but you know, for a frame of reference, I like using the Mario Sunshine. Okay, so this one, this one's better because you can actually attack as feathers. You can actually kill the birds this time around and the birds can kill me too. Get out of here! I shall kill every bird I see! You blackbird! Ugh. That would make a Beatles reference, but... This game takes place in medieval times! The Beatles did not exist during this time period, therefore me making a reference to their song Blackbird was gonna be very... out of the times. Very time inaccurate. Okay! How many stars have I collected so far? Man! Oh, there's something about this. This is actually pretty cool because they take you into a whole new area. And although it seems like you can't touch the spikes, but every time you touch the spikes, you don't take damage. You just it just kind of pushes you out of the way. But oddly enough, you can still take damage from the water. The water hurts you, but the spikes don't. It's I don't know what they put in the water in this game, but it, apparently it's an, it's a lethal enough to kill a smurf more than a spike. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, the bubble game in this one is a lot harder than it is in, uh... ...than it is in... ...the NES version. Oh my god. Because going up, it's harder to dodge them when you go up than it is to go left and right. Because it's harder to see where they're coming from. Nice, 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 nice! Act 8! The old gold mine! Woo. Okay. Ugh. I remember doing this one during my practice run, and it was unbearably hard. I wouldn't say unbearably hard. It's unbearable. There are some instances in this game that are unbearably hard to navigate through. Like, for instance, right... No, not right here. It might be coming up in a bit. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother clicking off the stars this time around. Because we've seen all the bonus games now, so I don't really have any incentive. Yeah, right here. That part right there. If you go on the top path, you, you're just dead. You automatically die because you can't make it through that, uh, that barrier. Or that entryway if you go on the top route. Which is something you would not know on your first time around. Because they don't give any indication of which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way. So you just have to just keep playing this level over and over again until you can finally uh, determine which route is the best route to take. And those fucking boulders keep killing me, they're so hard to dodge. Oh what, I went the right way and I still died! How did that happen? I'll tell you how it happened. It's because this game hates me, I've been cheated! Ah! I hate those boulders! They're so hard to dodge! It kinda looks like I'm wearing, uh, Handy Smurfs overalls. I know it's just a blue shading on my sprite that makes it look like I have blue overalls on, but it really does look like Handy Smurf. I mean, Handy Smurf from the comic books. Because in the show he had white overalls, and the comic books he has blue overalls. I think they gave him blue overalls in the movie, too. But honestly, the white overalls, they look so much better. It's more thematic. To, it's more on brand with the Smurfs to have them in white overalls as opposed to blue overalls. Actually, yeah, I'd say yeah, white is better. Because the blue kind of blends in with his body, so it doesn't really... It makes it harder to stand out than the white overalls. Basic color theory and whatnot. Okay. Okay, I'm doing so far so good. I always get hit by that. Always get hit by that. So the last time I died was because I ran out of health. If I just stop taking damage, then I should be fine. There isn't really any more platforming that I'm really too concerned about. Ooh, that was close. You have to be pixel perfect in order to dodge that boulder. And that, man, that was a that boulder that killed me last time was right before the exit. Act nine inside the volcano. Yup, here's the new stage. This stage wasn't even in the in the NES version, but it was in the 16-bit version. Which is so weird. I don't. know. I think it's because of the NES hardware limitations that they had to cut out levels. That's what I'm gonna go with, because I don't think they would just get lazy when trying to develop the NES version. Give that one up. Because I want to give them the benefit of a doubt and say they had good reason in order to omit some of the levels. Yeah, I know, I missed a bunch of stars, but like I said, I don't care about stars anymore. So, this dragon fight's a lot easier than the, the NES version. This time around, you can actually... Yeah, you can actually hit him from a distance. Hefty Smurf, that's why he's the athletic Smurf. He's really good at soccer. He's really good at kicking the presence like a soccer ball. All the way from halfway across the court, into the mouth of the big old fat dragon. Oh no, he made fire. So the fire isn't as glitchy in this game as it is in the other one. Okay, man, it might be a little bit glitchy. Okay, fire. Okay. At least it went away, even without having the dragon have to shoot out another fireball. Oh man! Great. 
Come on, now we play the waiting game, guys. Okay, so this isn't much better than the NES version when, in terms of the fire. Is he dead yet? Oh, he's still alive. No, stop making fire in that spot. Yeah, I do prefer this over the NES version. Okay, there we go. Now he should be dead. He is alive. Yeah. I should have done that from the start. Wait, no, I should- Wait, yeah, I should do that from the start. Because I can actually jump over this fire. No, I can't, no, I can't, no, I can't. I thought I could jump over that fire. Man. Okay, this is just bad. I take it back. This dragon sucks in all versions of the game. Except for, uh, Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance. But 8-Bit Dragon is trash. What a trash boss fight. They should not have the fire linger on for that long. Like, what is this? I'm running out of time over here. Don't they know I'm on a strict timer? Thank the Lord! Okay, we gotta go back for the key. They- I'm still on the timer? Whew. WP and Q. Wait, is that a Q? That- W, P, N- Or maybe it's an O? It looks like a backwards Q. Whatever. It doesn't matter because we're not even gonna use the password because I have save states. Which I'm gonna put on right now. Hold on a second. Save state. I'll put you in number three. Yep, here we go. Oh great, another scrolling, side scrolling auto scroller. Not auto scroller, but like a you know what I mean. A stage where I don't have any free will any movement free will of my own. They just make me keep going like a shark. Woo! Yeah, once again the little S icons are they're, they speed you up. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, crap. I missed a one-up. Actually, I really do have a lot of lives. I didn't realize how many lives I had. I really thought I was dead right there. That was easy. And I got all five bonus stars, too. Yes, the dam. I love it when they give me the dam. The dam is the best one. It's pretty much a free one-up every time. Every single time. Every, 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 every single time. Act number 11. The cliff! So, if you played the Super Nintendo version, you know exactly what stage this is. <laughs> So once again, we gotta work out on our timing. Not like I'm doing right now. My timing is not too good. I'm gonna wait for the thing to, yeah, just like that, so I don't have to worry about jumping over that hole. Okay. Oh, man, the Howie Bird. Oh, that was close. Oh, I can't kill the Howie Bird. I never knew that. Okay, so this should be the last log. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Come on! I was so close. <sighs> I'm about to get a game over on this stage. This stage is not that hard. <sighs> because... Something you have to worry about is the enemies, because if you take fault or if you take damage and they knock you back, they can easily knock you back right onto the log as it's spinning. I am not gonna get a game over here. I refuse to get a game over here. I refuse. My Smurf, <sighs> my Smurf honor is at stake. I am a Smurfman. I don't want to be a disgrace to a Smurfman. A Smurfman disgrace. Move, you goddamn bird. Okay. Okay. Ugh. I kind of got to concentrate just a little bit. Duh, 
finally! Get, come on! Ooh, wee, that was so tough! That should not have been that hard. Oh, the mushroom stage again. Okay, uh... Yeah. You don't control where you land on the mushrooms. And you can't stand on top of them either. They automatically slide you off the mushrooms. Act number 12! Gargamel's Manor House! Alright guys, we're at the end game. And what do we have here? Just like in the NES version, we have Azrael here to do us his feline harm. But what you want to do is actually drop your presence on top of him. Not like that. Okay, I don't remember if their presents respawn or not. They should respawn. Okay, that's not respawning for some reason. Okay, it doesn't matter. They they give you more than enough presents to kill the cat. Ooh, man. Not that I don't even think you need to kill the cat. Ooh. Man, Azrael is really small or this Heffy Smurf is really big. <laughs> they should not be the same size as each other. Oh right, I remember this. Okay, so then, if you try to touch that pot, you will get hurt. Ugh. I didn't mean to sound like a drug dealer trying to protect his, um, protect his property. Protect his merchandise. But yeah, touching that pot, you will get hurt. That's why you want to get the spring! Whoa! Get the spring! Fuck! They put them in such an awkward position, that little plant, because it's not center, but it's slightly off-center, so it's really- it makes the like, platforming really awkward. I swear, when I play this game during my own free time, I'm not this bad. It's the let's- let's play curse. Take that! Ah, that's fantastic. I'm not even gonna worry about killing the cat, you don't need to kill the cat. If you can just make it to the end of the stage, that's all that matters. Besides, by the time you have enough presents to kill the cat, you're pretty much already at the end of the stage anyway, so you don't even need to. Or killing the cat really gives you no benefit. I keep saying the cat. His name is Azriel. Whoop! Yeah. Just keep going, just keep going. Don't worry about it. I don't I don't even care about the 1-up. Gargamel in this game is so easy, you don't even have to worry about uh, getting a game over on Gargamel. But I might actually get a game over during this apple section. Okay, I'm actually gonna use a safe state. I'm using a safe state. I don't care. Ooh, excuse me. I don't care. I do not want to play through the entire... through the entirety of the game again. I mean, entirety of the sledge race and all that. Again. Okay, I don't like this part with the apples because you can't even see where the apples fall from. See, just like that, I had no idea it was right on top of me at that moment. You don't see where it lands, or you don't see where it falls from until it's right on top of you. Like, they should have given me some kind of indication. Oh! Uh, this treasure box right here. This is actually going to become pretty important later on. I'll take that one up, thank you very much. But if we're being totally honest, I would have preferred having a... Ah, a health pickup, rather than a one up. Gah! The apples. I guess this apple falls pretty far from the tree. Or in this case, falls pretty far from the ceiling, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately, the 1-Up doesn't respawn. See, look how close I was to the end. Yeah, I know, I missed a star. Okay, final boss time. This is actually a lot easier in this game than it is in... ...than it is in, uh, the other versions. First of all, Gargamel starts off really far away. Oh, I was too early that time. And I died. No, 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 no. We don't do game overs here. I'll meet y'all back at Gargamel's. I mean, Gargamel's boss fight. Not Gargamel's house. We are in his house. I don't need to meet you. 
where I am already. Okay, here we go again. This time, Gargamel's toast... His toast shall be buttered. And by butter, I mean by the butter of my blood. By his blood. His blood will be the butter on his... Whatever. Hello, bird? Ah, oh, I swear this isn't that hard. I'm just not playing right. When I did this during my practice attempts, I was not this bad. See, look. An easy pattern. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, I really thought that would have... Wow, he really sped up right there. That was quick. Ah. Okay, here we go again for the third time. You know what? It's actually somewhat easier if you don't run. If you just let go of the run button, you just die like that. Ha <laughs> ha. Isn't that great? Isn't that dandy? Okay. No, he dropped it on the wrong, wrong end. Ugh. Yeah, I just made a safe state. Imagine me having to play through this entirety, entire section over and over again just to beat this one boss. Ha, <laughs> could you imagine? I couldn't imagine. Who has time for that? I don't have time for that. No way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Slow down, why don't you? Jeez, that was close. Okay, I'm not controlling it. I'm not pressing anything. He's moving on his own. But he is moving to a very special place I told you all about earlier. Smurfette! What was Smurfette doing in a treasure box? That seems kind of inhumane. I really hope Gargamel put air holes in that treasure box before he put Smurfette inside. Congratulations! Your courage and bravery bravery has thwarted Gargamel's evil plans. The Smurfs are waiting impatiently for your return to Smurf. A big party party in your on hour. Yeah, I already made that joke. Honor. Game Gear version bit managers. I know in the last episode I said, oh, I really want to know who the composer is. Alberto Gonzalez again. Yeah. I, I got mixed up. I think in my mind I wanted to see... I wanted to compare the composers between the 8-bit and the 16-bit versions. But yeah, uh... The 8-bit version have the same composer throughout all the platforms, as opposed to the 16-bit version, which is a totally different guy. That was a really short credit sequence. What, did like eight people work on this game? Okay, yeah, that was the Smurfs on the Game Gear. I should have been done with this Let's Play like 30 minutes ago. If I was playing on my own free time, if I carried over the skills I had from me playing during my practice attempts into this Let's Play, then I would have been done in like 25 minutes. But man, talking and trying to play this game at the same time is rough. Jeez. I can already tell this commentary is going to the shitter. Oh man, I promise during my next Let's Play, my commentary will be slightly better than this one. I promise. Even after going on a two-day break from the first part of this episode, ah, there's something, I don't know, it's something in my mental state that makes me feel like this commentary isn't up to snuff. It could be a lot better. Maybe I'll do a third version of this game on the Game Boy in order to make up for my, uh, make up for my lack of commentary, or maybe for me to make up of the fact that I haven't made a Screamadelica reference yet. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, thank you all for watching this brutal episode of the Smurfs Game Gear version. I guess I'll see y'all in my next Let's Play of whatever game I do. I haven't even decided yet. 
I mean, I have a list of games I want to do, but I don't know which one I'm going to tackle first. But I guess you will know eventually when I release the episode or put it out in a community post. Okay, so adios, bonjour, aloha, sayonara, uh, goodbye in various other languages. Okay, thank you all for watching. Bye.